I share something with you know about this document right here. You might have this document right here as well, birth certificate, right? So I want to share some information I learned directly from a judge. What she said, basically, open my eyes. And I want to share that with Ono. She said that the birth certificate, basically, that my insurance indemnity receipt. Hmm, insurance receipt. Interesting, okay. And it's also a bond, which is us, which is an IOU. Okay, so what's the deal with this? Make we go over it, right? Now, bond, receipt, let's go over this now. When the living man or the living woman is born, right? What happens is that... A uh, property, a legal person or uh, artificial property is created and registered. And you see this language right there? You see how it's an all capital letter? This is the language used to identify a corporation or a legal person or an artificially created property. So, this right there serves as many different things. But, because this gets... Uh, registered as property and it will be used by that who registers it which is the corporation it will be used for benefits privileges and to gain more money so this property has to get insured so this is a receipt for that insurance now how about the bond how about the bond well, what's going on with that now when the living man or living woman is born right what happens is that the average amount of how much they earn in a lifetime is calculated and then they come up with a certain number right so let's say John Doe they calculated to average about a million dollars a year right so then this million dollar value get attached to the estate which is this the property so this living man gets estimated, valued, and attached to this. And that attachment is called the bond. This is the bondage which, ha which happens. Now this bond, because this now is attached to a living man that has value, now this also has some value. And this is, a, this is what's used as a promissory note, an IOU, I will pay you someday, see? A colonial bank note. It's a promissory note. So. If you notice, the IOU, this comes from, again, the property that is created upon the birth of a living man or a living woman. Very simple. Now, what happens is that, if you notice on the social security card, you also have this. And in, if in your social security, your status changes as you get older, right? Let's go say from a student, you go to a doctor. Obviously, your value will be recalculated and you will be worth more. So as you could see, this too can be used because of a bond. It can be used in the stock exchange to make money. So there are many ways you could use this for make money, including if I'm bank, if you want to ask a bank to lend you money, and you say, well, here you go. I got a promissory note. I promise to pay. So when, they, when you hear this thing about super bond, blue bond, think about this, right? Think about this. What does that bond mean? You I mean, um, because this right here, this corporation right here, this private corporation is owned by the crown. You probably have no shares in that. You probably have no uh, no investment and will get no returns from this company's profit. So you are probably just the living man and living woman that has been um, calculated and valued at a certain um, set price and you've been converted into property and you have been made in bondage or have been converted in bondage so think about this make this uh marinate and leave it and hopefully you can understand it a little bit more all right guys more blessings to you take care